Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Farm Sim Elm Creek. We are, uh, I just came into town here on the bus and uh, got off here at the motors. I, I've decided to move out to the country. So today I'm here to buy a plot of land and just get started. What better way to do it than to jump in? Um, I've got no attachments, no need to stay where I was, and I feel like I've sold everything I had. I came out here with a pocket full of change and decent credit. So um, I've decided to uh, move out here and, and try to make a fortune being a farmer. I know that's probably not going to be possible, but I, I want a simpler life. So um, I walked in here to Clever Motors, and I'm going to take a look and see what they got. Um, my idea, I kind of want to do some sheep farming and, you know, maybe make clothes and stuff like that. So we'll see. I, I, I'm not sure what's in the area, but we can figure this out. So here is our uh, shop, and this is what they're offering us. Let's take a look and see. I probably just need a small tractor. Something that can have arms. Let's see. Wheel brands. These guys, they have a lot of different choices. Wow, like from all over the world. This is nice. This does not have any arms, though. It doesn't look like. That's a really funny-looking tractor. Does this have arms? I don't think I want to deal with the tracks. Got these two here. Zetter, huh? I haven't heard of them before. Once again, this doesn't have front loaders, though. We need something that's got a front loader. This setter looks nice. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty cool little tractor. 76 horsepower. Does have a front loader attacher. Wheels aren't too wide. Let's see what do, the wheel choices do we have. Wide tires, standard, and wide. I'm not really going to be doing any fertilizing. Oh, there we go. Because we're going to be running. I'm going to be doing grass, I think. Because obviously to feed the sheep, we need grass. And we do want a front loader attacher. Yep. One size to fit all. This has 76 horsepower, 88, 96, 107, 117. Let's see. We're looking at how much? 72,000 loaded. So, yeah, we might as well. The base price is 50, but with all these attachments and tires and stuff, it's. The engine's the biggest upgrade, but I, I want to have some upgrade because we're going to have to do some field work. So I need this to have a little bit of power. Oh, this will work. This looks nice. Yep. So let's uh, see how that looks. Oh, look, someone else is buying equipment. Some dude named Simon. That's, uh, hey, Simon, that's that's my tractor. Hey, Oh, wait, Simone. Look at that. No, that's my tractor. You, I just bought a Zetter. Did you buy a Zetter? No, I bought my Zetter. Oh, okay. <laughs> How you doing? Wait, come back. <laughs> What's your name? You just know what my name is. Simone. You're kind of cute. I like the purple shirt. Mm. Hey, Simone, I'm, uh, I'm looking for some farmland around here. You got any good ideas? I'd, I'd like to do some sheep. Oh, okay. She's not very friendly. Jeez. Okay, well, I'll uh, just mosey on down the road here. Hey, I just got this cool tractor. It's got almost 120 horsepower. Hey, oh, dang it. Miss. What? I got more horsepower than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if you ever need any help, let me know. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm going to live in the area. So, I'd like like I said, like if you need help... Okay, well, Oh, you got a farm already. Okay, well, let's take a look. I just need to pick up your plow. All right. Don't knock it over. She seems nice enough. So we're going to follow her to her farm, and let's see where she's at. This is a nice tractor. I'll tell you what. Simple. It's got all the tools that I need. Um, 
Nice ride, too. I think part of that's the communal tires that we bought. They're not going to be nearly as bumpy on the road as the other ones. And since we're doing grass work, though, I may, I may have to put some regular tires back on it. for the. If I need to do field work, depending on where I am, um, that looks like a nice pasture right there. I need some space, though. I kind of want more room than that. But we'll take a look at that. Hey, that's a nice house. I wonder if that's all... Oh, somebody lives there. Oh, there she goes. I missed the turn. Uh, she's going that way. Okay, this must be it here. Oh, wow, this is cute. Look at that. That's a nice house. She's doing good. Obviously, she's from England, so she's not from the area. She's got a pretty heavy accent. This is cute. Well, maybe her tractor's name is Simon and her name is Simone. Hey, hey, Simone. Hi. So tell me your story. So this is my farm. How did you get this? I bought it. Did you come over from England? I did. Wait, where'd you go? I don't know. Where did you go? I'm right here. Oh, hey. Wow, this is a really nice setup you got here. Yeah, so if you ever need a house to sleep in, there's a house here. Wow, that, you're pretty um, generous considering you don't even know me. I mean, nice is, yeah, wow. This is weird that they built your house right on this driveway. That's odd. Well, here's the problem. Because of how the land is, you couldn't build further back. How weird. That's funny because that's, I've never seen anyone. You might want to put a drive. Well, I guess you're fine because you just drive up here and then park yeah. if you got to. Yeah. Wow, this is really nice. Well, and I've got a second driveway here, so I never use that driveway anyway. Well, I mean, are you, you're serious about me sleeping here? If, yeah. Like, like, do you got a spare bedroom I could use? Yeah. Oh, how much do you charge for rent? Uh, 30 bucks a night. All right, that could, that'll work. That'll work. Awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm going to go uh, tour around a little bit and see if I can't find uh, a place to live. Okay, a well, well, I've got some fields to plow because, like, yeah, I've only just recently bought this farm. Yeah, I could tell they didn't really take care of your crops, did they? No, so I'm going to plow it all. Well, this has got sugar beets. That's going to be a headache. Well, I'm just going to plow it all. Oh, whoa, okay. Well, that, it's August, though. You're not going to be able to grow anything but wheat. Well, yeah, but I don't want to have a sugar beet. Oh, I could help you. Uh, no, we don't want to have a sugar beet. All right, it's okay. It's not worth anything. All right. All right, well, have fun. If you need anything, let me know. Sure will. All right, bye. Bye. Isn't she, isn't she nice? All right, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to look next door. That really was a nice little property. Maybe that's for sale. This is really cute. She's got a nice barn. I wonder if I talked to her if she'd let me uh, store hay in that barn. That would be, that'd be nice to be able to store some stuff over there. Though I don't know if I'm going to be doing hay. Grass would be the easiest thing to do. Um, but we'll figure it out. I really like this tractor. Man, it's good looking too. That's not a bad looking tractor. All right, so let's park right here, and uh, let's take a look, see at this property. Let's see what they're asking. So it's got uh, wheat on the field. I don't, I didn't see this that Simone had a harvester. Boy, if I buy this, I'd get a house too. Be fun to get to know her though. But maybe if we're neighbors, I could still get to know her. Let's take a look at their roof. Mm. Oh, it's in good shape. This is nice up here. Chimney looks like it needs some work, but it looks like they're doing it. I, I could fix, fix that up if I bought it from them. This actually gives us a pretty good view. That's a nice size field. It's not huge, though. I don't know if I'd be able to get enough grass off of that. So I don't think this is going to work. Um. Let's see. Hey, Alpha. Yeah, what's up? 
Whoa. Where are you? Oh, there's the people that live here. They're not going to be happy I'm on their roof. Why do you want someone's roof? I was just checking to see if it was in good condition. <laughs> Hi. What's get, up? Get, you can't get on neighbor's roof. Okay. All right. What's up? Um, I've got a proposition towards you. Okay. If you buy a field with wheat on it, yeah. I will buy the wheat off you, and you can stay in my house for free. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Because I need to feed my chickens. Oh, and this has wheat. Or no, this is oats. You can't feed the chickens oats. All right, so I need to look for some wheat fields then. Um, all right, well, let's go take a look and drive around and see what we see. There's what? a wheat field just here. Yeah, but that house... Oh, that's cool. I <laughs> where? Hang on, where did she go? I hear her yelling in the woods back there, but... Oh, there you are. Yeah, that's canola. This might now see this. Uh, th can you feed them oats? No. No. All right. Just wait. wait, come back. Oh, this is Zia. <laughs> Man, she's like one distracted lady. Where have you gone? I'm right behind you. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't chase people in the woods. <laughs> you told me. Oh, fine. All right, I'm gonna go look for some wheat fields. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Um, I don't Try see to anything. Any Okay. I mean, well, yeah, if I'm going to live there, then... Well, yeah, but we have really bad weather in the winter as well. Okay. okay. <laughs> there she goes. That's an odd statement. We have bad winter weather. Hmm. Is that wheat? Well, let's go see if we can find a wheat field nearby. This one doesn't look like it's taken care of, but that's a nice big field. This this might work, actually, if that's wheat. Well, it's probably expensive, though, but we'll see. How's this? Nope, more oats. I'm not very good at picking wheat out, am I? Is that wheat up there? That's a lot of land. That's going to cost me almost everything I have, I bet, though. That's a pretty big piece. Well, let's see what we got. This has been weeded. Oh, Michael Hammond owns this. Uh, I'm going to give him a call. See if I can't work out a deal with him. I'll be right back. Well, I called Michael and I talked to him on the phone. And he wants half a million dollars for that property. Um, he was a real nice guy. I told him I wasn't interested. I said, thanks anyway. That's too much. But he did say that there is a field for sale for less that does wheat just around the corner. So this might be an opportunity for us to take a look at the field. And he said it's, it's a pretty flat area, which is what I'm looking for, because I need to put some, some buildings down. Um, so let's see what we can find here. He's set to turn right here by the, the, the Mexican place. There it is. So we're going to go a little bit south and see what's down uh, here. Uh, I've got uh, corn there. That, or that's, that looks like sugar cane. Oh, that's weird. I didn't know you could grow that here. There's water over here. Oh, that's good. We need water for our sheepies. So that'll be nice. Oh, wow. This is a nice field. So let's figure out who to get a hold of for this one. And I'll call the local realtor and... Yeah, this is wheat. All right, so I need to talk to Zach. Uh, so I'm going to give him a call and uh, see if I can get him out here. So I'll be right back, folks. I'm going to give Zach a call, and we'll see if we can't get him out here. So I've given Zach a call, and he is on his way over. You know, one of the nice things about this property is it's got a decent frontage here um, with a lot of already grass here. We can mow this and use it for our sheep. Um, so we're going to produce stuff for the sheep and... and I'm going to probably, does this need plowing? Doesn't say. Oh, I th who's that? That might be Zach. He must live over there. There. Yeah, it says, yeah that's Zach. <laughs> the, wow, everybody around here wears purple. How you doing, Zach? Yeah, what you want? Hey, um, so I'd like to buy this field. How, how much are you asking for it? More than you can afford. I mean... 
I'm thinking with the acreage and stuff, maybe like around around 180,000, somewhere around there. Mm. Let me have a look. Uh. Oh, he's a strange character. Oh, I didn't say Don't that. Don't walk on my crop. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, all right. All right, Zach, that's awesome. Well, uh, I'll, I'll get the paperwork done, and uh, we'll go ahead and make a deal. Shake hands. Shake, 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 shake. Good. Yeah, All right. Hey, we'll see ya. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Some weird people around here. I guess that's part of being in the country. But uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to head over to the bank then, and we'll take a look and see what we can do. So <laughs> it was odd exchange. I'll be back. All right, folks, I'm going in to pay small here. This is the local bank. Um, <laughs> I don't see a lot of other tractors here. I wonder if we're not supposed to be parking here with the tractors. Mm. Well, they'll be all right for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going to go talk to them about taking out a loan. Well, not a loan. I'm going to pay for our uh, farm with my money. And then I need to talk to Simone, make her a deal, hopefully. So I'll be back. Well, that one bad. That was not bad at all. Uh, still a lot less money than we had before, but I'm gonna see if I can make a deal with Simone here. She wanted wheat for the chickens. I don't think she needs a whole field worth of wheat, so I'm hoping that I can convince her to um, to let it go, <laughs> uh, to make a deal with me. So we'll, you know, we'll see what she says. But if I rent a harvester and a trailer. Maybe, maybe she'll go halfers with me. Like, I'll let her have half the grain, and then I'll sell the rest of myself to make some money because I need to make some money back. Ten or $15,000 would be good. <laughs> oh, I just passed our farm. Look at that. Well, we got a lot done today already. Where's Simone? She's got a worker working the fields. Oh, looks like she's in the hayloft. Hey, Simone! What? Hey. Hey. I got a proposition for you. Ooh, okay. So I bought that wheat field um, just down Smith Road there yeah. uh, by the taco place. Yeah. It's that big wheat field there. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's it's fifty three on the car. Did you buy that off Zach? Yeah, yeah, he's weird. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, stay away from him. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm glad I know that. Well, the the transaction's over with, so unless I have to buy another field from him, I yeah, probably stay won't. Stay away. Why? What's the matter with him? Uh, he's just not very normal. Yeah, he was a little strange. He kept like jumping around and tell me to get away from them and stuff so this is weird it was weird but we did it so i got a proposition for you okay i know you said you wanted wheat yes what if i get what if i give you like half of my wheat or at least fill up your silo for the chickens oh that's fine i only want one like trailer i will even buy a trailer for you to fill oh you need you're gonna buy a trailer for your farm yeah and i'll just get you to fill it for me and then you can have whatever's left oh okay that sounds good and then and then um and then the other question are you gonna buy a harvester um, can I borrow the harvester to harvest the wheat? Yes. Do you want do you want some money for that then too? No, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, you can just borrow it. Okay, I'll do the work. Okay. And uh, I'll get it repaired and fill it up with gas when I'm done. Yeah, you're good. Okay, that sounds good. All right, cool. Thanks. Right. When do you want the harvester, Alpha? Alpha, 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 Alpha. Yes. When do you want the harvester? I mean, as soon as possible. I'm going to head up to the shop now and, and I'll get the, okay. I'll get it I'm all. Okay, I'm going to be bought and you can pick it straight up from the shop. Okay, that sounds good. All right. Awesome. Thanks. That's great. That worked out really well. She's so nice. Friendly farmer. Oh, she's got little chickens. Look at that. I wonder how she waters those chickens. They're just in her little pen. Hi, chickens. Aren't they cute? 
I'm going to ask her, how does she water them? Hey, Simone. Yeah. How do you water those chickens? Um, they have a little watering thing. Let's see, where? I'll show you. Just on this one side. So what do you do? Do you just back a, a waterer up to it yeah. and they get water? Oh, okay. So, all right. This is cool. What breeds you got? Uh, I have Somalis, um, the um, Leghorn Reds. Uh, the Leghorn, I'm assuming these are the Leghorn Reds right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, this black one's the I am Somali. Oh, yeah. They're all black, aren't they? Yeah, look at them. Look at that. They're yeah. pretty. And then these are um, meat chickens. That's a meat, that's a rooster. No, 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 no. Oh, they're the white ones, you mean? No, 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 no. The big brown ones. Big brown ones. Oh, these guys. Okay. Yeah. Is this a cuckoo? Yes. Okay. And then you got a rooster here. Yep. What's his name? Elvis. <laughs> Since my baby left me. I finally. But he's a pretty chicken. Look at that. Look at that comb. Make sure you keep him inside in the winter. Their combs freeze off. Oh, we know. All right, I'm going to head to the shop. Okay. If you want to call it in, uh, they will uh, they should put it out for you. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Well, this is going to work out good. We'll have to see what we're going to do on that field there when we're done. I hope it doesn't need plowing when we're finished. This tractor is not really set up for that. But cultivation should be fine. We'll get the field all cleaned and ready to go. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to put a tractor pen down there. Wait, that was our street back there. Not this. Oh, that's right. we got to get our stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that. She's got it already. Man, that was quick. Looks like she's buying some. She's, she's going to go full farm here, man. Look at that. <laughs> I still got a bunch of... I'm probably going to have to... You know, um, I'm probably going to have to buy some stuff myself. Uh, let's see what they got. Um, what's on sale? Got an Anderson Baylor. Oh, I didn't. Mm. All right. That's. Oh, wow. Hey, are you going to. Uh, I need to call. I need to call. Hold on. Where's, is she coming over? I thought I saw Simone for a second. I'm going to call her on the phone. Uh, Simone. Yo, what? Hey, do you need a round baler pickup wagon? Are you going to do bales? Um, I just got a tiny uh, square one because my field's oh. not very big. I was just going to say, they got a pretty big good deal here on a 24 bale pickup wagon from Anderson. It's uh, 19000 That's like... That's all. That's like over half yeah, off. Yeah, I've only got a really little baler. Okay, okay. I just. I've, I've got really small bale at fields. Okay, I'm gonna buy this though. This is a great deal right here. We're gonna get that. We definitely are gonna need that. So, well, just check here once in a while and see hey, what they got. Hey, Arthur. Yeah. Whilst I've still got you on the phone. Yeah. Do you have a tractor that can attach a front loader and a pallet fork onto it? I do. If I. I've got the pallet fork and the front loader at the, sh uh, at the store. Yeah. If I buy some chicken feed, could you bring it over to me? I sure can. Okay. Well, don't buy chicken feed. I got wheat for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. All right. All right. But you, the front loader stuff is here. Yeah. Anyway. Um, all right. So that worked out good. I'm glad we checked the sale page because... Now we're the proud owner of that that windrower. We're going to need that. So, um. Hey, I've got something awesome to show you. What's that? Are you at the store? Yeah. I'm bringing it back. Okay. I'll wait. All right, bye. She's got something she wants to show me. Let's see here. Hey, there's a guy named Zach. He's coming back. Well, that's weird. Your tractor said you were Zach. Maybe I just misunderstood you. 
How you doing, Simone? Hi. What? Oh, you brought an electric track? What did you get this for? Because it's environmentally friendly. Okay, but it doesn't have any loader arms. Well, I know. <laughs> and it's not going to be powerful enough to run anything. No, but I can do... Ah! She's a bad driver. Wow. I can do field work. Oh, okay. Wow. That's no, not field work. Animal work with it. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. You might be able to run that small cultivator with it. I don't know. I should be able to. That's a little tractor. Wow. <laughs> I thought mine was a small tractor, but comparatively. All right. Have fun. I will. I'm going to get started on that weed. I'll bring you a trailer load here shortly. Okay. Have you got my trailer? Uh, yes, I do. I'll bring the, Yeah. When I'm done, I'll bring it all over to your farm. Okay. Whoops. That's the wrong way. Whoa. Careful. Thanks, Simone. Bye. Bye. Beep, beep, beep. Ah, what a gorgeous day. Not a cloud in the sky. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> That's how things always start, right? All right, so we're going to just park this tractor over here. I'm going to have to walk back to the shop and grab that harvester. Hopefully we'll make a little money off this field. I wonder for her chickens... How much food that little pen takes. Maybe what I'll do is I'll leave her a trailer full. Um, feed the chickens and leave her like a full trailer. Though she won't be able to use the trailer if I do that. I wonder how... Hmm. Oh well, I'll talk to her about it. Because she's not going to get much grain. I'm not, she deserves a bunch. So... All right, I'm going to walk over there, guys. I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, so I've got the harvester ready to go. This is a little harvester. <laughs> I think this is probably going to take the rest of the day, huh? Well, let's go ahead and run it down to the uh, field and get it started. But I think it's going to take a while. But this is tiny. Depends on how well Zach kept his crops. They look like they're in pretty good shape. I didn't see a lot of uh, any weeds, really, or anything like that. So it seems like it will be fine. Oh, there goes Simone going the other way. It looks like it looks like her uh, her Massey. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> she must be picking her stuff up at the shop. Beacons on. I'm sure people in this town are used to seeing the the harvesters floating around. But uh, still gotta be careful. Wonder how she's affording all this equipment. Not that it's my business, but Well, this is what I've always wanted to do. Here we go. My first time operating a harvester. Seems pretty complicated. <laughs> it's not simple. I think I'm going to run down here. Do I want straw? I don't think I want straw. Let me see if sheep. I'm going to look at my index here real quick and see if sheep need straw. I need to give Simone a call. Uh, let's see here. Dial my number. Hey, Simone. Yeah. Hey, real quick. Um, do you want the straw off this field, or do you want me to just plow it up, like to, to spread it? Um, I mean, I have got no animals right now, and I'm probably other than my chicken, and I'm probably not going to get anything until late next year at the earliest. Okay. 
So I just I'll just leave it then, huh? I would say so. Okay, that sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, started then. All right, thanks, Simone. No problem. Have a good afternoon. Talk if you need anything, let me know. I'll be I'm gonna harvest now. So okay. here we go. So long. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn that swath off. I don't know if it's on or not. Yeah, it's on. Close that up. Just gonna spread the the, the uh, chaff. Cool. So we got our work cut out for us. I'm gonna cut the ends of the field off here on both ends. I'll probably do two passes. Wow, oh, this is nice. This is good wheat. He's got. Uh, there are some weeds in there, though. I'm starting to see some weeds. So we're probably not going to get a, a, a huge yield off this field. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. So it looks like they crept in. Maybe they crept in after. I don't know. But we'll have to see with grass. I'm not sure if we're going to need a weeder or not. We'll have to see. I know they got. We got some special tools out there for grass to make it grow better so I'm going to get this all you know we'll put the we're going to put our I'm going to get this harvested I'm going to put my sheet pen in and then I'm going to put the ground together to get it ready for uh, for our grass to go in we'll start growing grass and then we'll start feeding the sheep and uh, should be pretty easy Let's go down to the other end and grab that stuff. I almost would like to do chickens. I was looking at the price of the, the feeder or the pens though for the sheep and they're like <sighs> the nice one is almost a hundred thousand dollars. We may have to take out a loan. I'm really good at going broke. Um, we've already spent over half my money in just like six hours or less, five hours. So <laughs> But at least I got a place to live. I'm sure I could always help Simone if she needed help around the farm if this doesn't work out. <laughs> I think it will, though. I mean, we can sell some of our bales if they're not, you know. Actually, we're not doing bales. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to look into see what different systems are available to us. It seems like a collection wagon might be simpler than doing bales. But then i got to find a way to store it. And that's, you know, bales are pretty easy to store. So we'll see. That all means equipment, though, you know. It's like everything that you gotta buy. It's either a loading wagon or a baler. But I could also lease stuff for a while. I don't have to buy everything. I can lease some of this stuff. So for me, the tr the big thing was the tractor and the mowers. I probably need to own the mowers. Um, and I'll need a flatbed trailer to move stuff around. And probably for. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there as we need to. Well, I don't like to run over the neighbor's crops. Yeah, I know. I don't have access to that land. It's not my land. This land is his land. It's just not my land. going good. And I think I'm going to go empty this harvester out before I start doing the long run. Um, turn my beacons off. I forgot about those. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So let's go ahead and empty this harvester out. Um, and then we'll start filling it again. This is such a small harvester. 
wonder how much these cost. Maybe they're pretty cheap. Oh, those are weird. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this field harvested. Um, if you guys want, uh, I'm, this is probably going to be where we cut, though. So I'll come back, and I'll show you harvesting. I'll show you as far as harvesting the field. But for today's episode, I think that's good. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we got the farm started. I picked up a really sweet tractor and uh, found a, met a nice neighbor who's going to help us, hopefully, with their equipment as we get started here. Because it's challenging when you only have a certain amount of money. So, anyway. I'll see you guys in the next exciting episode. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And uh, have a great day. Bye.